Tesla Europe have just shared videos of FSD supervised mastering not only Swindon's ridiculously designed magic roundabout, but a great big autonomous drive through London as well. Can Tesla's vision and AI approach to autonomous cars really handle British roads? Will FSD get the green light in the land of regulation anytime soon? All this and more to come. Welcome to Tesla Jigsaw, I'm Will. For anyone who's ever driven through London, or Swindon's magic roundabout to be fair, you'll know how crazy it is. Indeed, many Brits will do all they can to avoid driving through London, as it's such a flipping nightmare. Roadworks, crazy cyclists, motorbikes, pedestrians, closed roads and diversions that lead to more diversions. Driving in London is not for the faint-hearted, yet here we are, Tesla showing us, and surprising nobody who's paying attention to the company, that they have the solution to fully autonomous vehicles. There happen to be just a software update away for many Tesla owners around the world today. How do they drive themselves? Well, just like we humans do it. Teslas rely on cameras and artificial intelligence to navigate roads much like a human driver. The car's cameras act as eyes, capturing a 360-degree view of the surroundings, while the AI processes this data to recognise lanes, signs and obstacles, making real-time decisions to steer, accelerate or brake, similar to how humans use their eyes and brain to interpret and react to the environment. Tesla's system relies on visual data and advanced computer to drive safely, consistently learning from real-world driving data to improve its performance. It doesn't get tired or distracted, it can't get drunk or have a heart attack, it's always alert and focused. And as much as we all like to pretend we are wonderful drivers all of the time, we all know we get tired, we make mistakes, and we see others on our roads every day who think that they are invincible whilst texting on their phones. With 1.2 million people who die on our roads every year globally and tens of millions more who have life-changing injuries, this technology can't come soon enough. So what's next for the UK? As of the 25th of July, FSD supervised is still pending regulatory approval. There's no confirmed imminent launch per latest reports from Tesla and regulators. However, Tesla is preparing for an EU rollout, but the UK post-Brexit may differ. However, this video, along with any data that Tesla shares to regulators from other countries' successful rollouts of supervised full self-driving, i.e. from the United States, Canada, China, etc., should of course persuade regulators to get a wriggle on. For every day that goes by where we have 100% dumb cars driving on our roads, lives are being needlessly lost precisely because regulation is not keeping up with this life-saving technology. Regulators must know that whilst caution must be taken to approve autonomous vehicles for fear of their safety, the opposite is also true. Take too long and regulators will have blood on their hands for not approving this life-saving technology. And at this point, Tesla already has the data to back up the safety concerns. Over on ex-Tesla post, Autopilot and FSD supervise safety data. In Q2 2025, we recorded one crash for every 6.69 million miles driven in which drivers were using Autopilot technology. By comparison, the most recent data are available from NHTSA and FHWA, that's the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Federal Highway Administration, show that in the United States there was an automobile crash approximately every 702,000 miles. The ex-post from Tesla highlights a Q2 2025 safety report showing one crash per 6.69 million miles with autopilot FSD supervised, contrasting with the US average of one crash per 702,000 miles. NHTSA and FHUA 2023 data suggests a 9.5 times safety improvement. Tesla here reiterating the idea that autopilot and systems like full self-driving are really the company's best safety features from an already impressive lineup of some of the most highly safety rated vehicles ever built. Let me give a quick obvious disclaimer though. Of course, there have been accidents and even fatalities with Tesla drivers misusing autopilot and FSD technology. It is called supervised full self-driving for that exact reason. You must be paying attention and are still responsible for the weapon you are in control of. Until it's named unsupervised and Tesla takes full responsibility for any mishaps or there's no steering wheel in the car like a cyber cab, it's the driver who will be at fault. And time and time again, we've seen claims of Tesla's FSD causing accidents where every time it was human error and distracted drivers to blame. 
That, of course, is not what family members who have lost loved ones want to hear. But the unfortunate truth is distracted or even deliberately preoccupied minds bear the responsibility for these accidents and deaths. Before we get to the full London drive through in all of its glory, let's look at what Tesla brilliantly calls the roundabout final boss. FSD supervised tackling Swindon magic roundabout in Britain. It's a roundabout, all right, with five roundabouts on it, and luckily a hospital right next door. This white knuckle roundabout isn't for the faint hearted, yet here's our Tesla tackling it three times no less without issues. Plus, driving around tight residential areas, negotiating local traffic with ease. In fact, while we watch this, let me give you some interesting facts about it. Swindon's Magic Roundabout, built in 1972 in Wiltshire, UK, is a unique junction with five mini roundabouts around a central anti-clockwise roundabout. Designed by Frank Blackmore, it handles 6,200 vehicles hourly, outpacing standard roundabouts. Named after the 1960s TV show The Magic Roundabout, that's this one, it's a global tourist attraction. Really? I've never wanted to go there in my life. Hey kids, where do you want to go today? To Swindon Roundabout. Not again. It's a famous global tourist attraction, Dad. Okay, I'll get my coat. It's a global tourist attraction featured in media and merchandise. <laughs> didn't know this. Despite being voted one of the UK's scariest junctions, it has a strong safety record with only 14 serious accidents in 25 years. How many people watching, I wonder, would know how to tackle this? Let me know in the comments. Let's end with a full London FSD drive. Feel free to play Count the Landmarks, but ask yourself as we go around, just how much more pleasurable would it be if everyone driving around London was as competent as this Tesla?
And if you do want to go above and beyond, please do join me over on Patreon. I do a separate weekly episode for you, meetup opportunities and loads of bonus extra content. And my Patreons are literally keeping me going. So thank you so much to everyone who's joined and feel free to take a look at yourself. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patrons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.